So good morning friends. So in this second lecture on high voltage engineering, I will explain the classification of voltage level as per IEC. IEC is International Electrotechnical Commission. International Electrotechnical Commission. So as per IEC, how the voltage levels are classified that I will discuss today. If voltage level is less than or equal to 1 kV, it is called as low voltage. So up to 1000 kV, uh, 1000 volts including 1000 volt, it is low voltage level. More than 1 kV but less than or equal to 70 kV, it is called as medium voltage. You heard about the 11 kV, 33 kV and 66 kV lines. So they all come under this category, that is medium voltage lines. If it is more than 70 kV, but less than or equal to 220 kV, then it is high voltage. So 132 kV line, 220 kV line, they come under the category of high voltage. If voltage is more than 220 kV, but less than or equal to 800 kV, then it is extra high voltage. So 400 kV line as well as 700 kV line, they come under the category of extra high voltage. And if voltage level is more than, sorry, it is 800 kV. If voltage level is more than 800 kV, then it is called as UHV, that is ultra high voltage line. So, this is the classification of voltage level. Now, here important thing is, these voltage levels specified, they are line to line voltage and RMS value. So, if we consider 220 kV line, then 220 kV is the nominal voltage or the rated voltage of the system and that 220 kV is RMS line to line value. Okay, now let us take example of 220 kV system. So then 220 kV is called as system voltage or rated voltage of the system. So we can denote this by V system. Now this V system that is 220 kV is line to line RMS voltage. So let us represent this by V line to line. Similarly, if we consider 400 kV system, then that 400 kV will be system voltage that is rated voltage of the system and it is line to line RMS value. Now phase value is obviously you know that is line voltage divided by root 3. Now in AC system, when we say line voltage, so it is measured between the two phases, say AB, BC or CA. When we say phase voltage, it is between a phase and the ground. So voltage of A phase with respect to the ground, B phase with respect to the ground or C phase with respect to the ground. Now again, this is RMS value. Now in AC, voltage waveform is sinusoidal. So there is peak value or also called as maximum value. So that peak value or maximum value, you know it is root 2 times voltage. So if we are if we are interested in finding the peak value of the phase voltage, then it is root 2 into V phase. If we are interested in finding the peak value of the line to line voltage, then it is root 2 V line to line. Now when we consider the system and insulation of the system, the insulation of the system is designed for voltage slightly higher than the rated voltage of the system. And that voltage level is called as maximum operating voltage of the system. Maximum operating voltage of the system. And it is given by K into system voltage. K is factor of safety. Now this K is taken 1.1 up to system of 220 kV. And this K is 1.05 up 
for system voltage more than 220 kV. So if we consider 220 kV system, then maximum operating voltage will be 1.1 into 220, that is 242 kV. If we consider 132 kV system, it is less than 220 kV, so factor of 50 will be 1.1. So 132 into 1.1 will be the maximum operating voltage of the system. If we consider 400 kV system, it is greater than 220 kV, then this factor of 50 will be 1.05. So 1.05 into 400 kV, so it will be 420 kV. So that is the voltage for which the system insulation is designed. Now all these things I am discussing because if you appear for the core company interview, you may be asked what is high voltage level. So many times I have seen that students say that more than 132 kV or more than 166 kV it is high voltage level. But as per the classification I had explained up to 1 kV that is 1000 volts it is low voltage then I had explained the voltage range for the medium voltage, then for high voltage, then extra high voltage, and ultra high voltage. And these are the fifth line voltage, phase voltage, RMS voltage, maximum operating voltage of the system, factor of safety, and so on. So today I had discussed the voltage levels as per IEC, that is International Electrotechnical Commission, and different voltages. Thank you.